All right, Leo, thank you. And joining us now, branding advisor to CEOs, author of Intra Branding, the Keystone of Corporate Agility, Mark Rudolph. And also, of course, John Burnett, still here with us in the studio. Mark, uh, your reaction to Leo's report, your thoughts on that Wisconsin Supreme Court loss. Is it the GOP's fault, as Ron DeSantis suggested? Well, partially, because the GOP isn't fighting much and it's distracted by what's going on with Donald Trump. There's so much going on in this country and the details are getting lost. But what about Ronna McDaniel also? What, what is she doing? That's absolutely true. There's no true. excuse for this, and Wisconsin is lost. It's now a totally left-wing state. Yeah, I, you know, John, I'm looking here at a headline. MSNBC says that Wisconsin Supreme Court election is a bad omen for the GOP. Not that different uh, from what Ron DeSantis said, obviously a different spin there. Your take, is the GOP ready for another leader? Well, we have to have a plan right? And we have to execute well. Let's not forget, we do have a senator, a state senator, uh, I should say a U.S. senator who's been elected several times there. So we do know how to win. We just have to make sure that we win each and every time and have a plan that will actually position us to do well. And, you know, uh, Mark is a branding expert, right? So we have to figure out how do we rebrand, reposition, and actually get our message out. That's a great point. And speaking of branding, uh, Mark, I love this. I'm fascinated by marketing and, and all of these things and things that you don't realize have a message behind them, but they do. Uh, you recently posted that former President Trump's arraignment and arrest was unconstitutional, but specifically from a branding POV, your take is saying that this sort of thing destroys America's brand. Um, I'm right on board with you, but I'm going to let you explain what you mean by that. Well, first of all, let's talk about why it was unconstitutional. We had an sure. openly biased prosecutor and openly biased judge. That shouldn't be allowed in this country. Also, this openly biased prosecutor accused Donald Trump of falsifying corporate records to conceal another crime. Well, Donald Trump was not in control of the corporation in 2017, if you read the indictment, so that couldn't have happened. Second of all, conceal another crime. The Sixth Amendment specifies that he has to tell us what that crime is, and he never did. So what happens is America looks foolish. And what prompted me to post that tweet was a tweet from Naib Bukele, the president of El Salvador. And he said something very shocking. First of all, he said if this had happened in another country, then the United States would be going wagging you know, its moral authority finger saying, what do you think you're doing? And then he said the United States' ability to use democracy as foreign policy is gone. Hmm. Well, that's humiliating. It really so is. This, is a guy, this is a guy who's an ally and he's very, very smart. But imagine what's going on in China, in Russia, in North perception. Korea, in Iran. Sure. sure. I, so no, the I think thing is, we look, like, we look like jackasses because let's talk about branding. The yeah. old brand of the United States was power, prosperity, and order. The new brand mm -hmm. is weakness, poverty, and anarchy. Hmm. John, so last know, thoughts. No so, I'm sorry, sorry Mark, we're almost out of time. No, well, I'm gonna well, actually, John I was going to ask, ask Mark a question yeah, in terms of, okay, using branding principles in business, how do we actually fix Americans, America's brand, not only to, to those abroad, but those even within our borders? So glad you asked, John, because <laughs> in my opinion, there's only one politician who can come back to fix this, and that's the guy who fixed it in 2016, and that's Donald Trump. Because nobody ever, nobody has the power and the gravitas to do it. The thing is, is that if America doesn't stand for something, and it used to, when Trump was president, we did have power, we did have prestige. We did have prosperity, and we did have mostly order, except for the riots in 2020. But right. all of that is lost now, mm -hmm. and you need a guy mm -hmm. who has a big cudgel who can turn it around, and that's right. what he can do the best. If we don't have that, we are lost. All right, we're going to leave it there. Mark Rudolph, thank you so much for being with us, as always. You bet.